Two days ago, Kenya Airways pilots, who are members of the Kenya Airline Pilot Association, CALPA, issued a seven-day strike notice demanding for the resignation of, among others, the airline's chief executive officer, Ambo Fingunze, and chairman, Ambassador Dennis Awori. The pilots called for recruitment of other people to oversee the national carrier's journey back to profitability, noting that Mbovi and Awori were impediment to KQ's recovery. We are not convinced that the genuine efforts have been made to turn around the airline. With every passing day, it becomes very clear that Kenya's leadership lacks clear vision, the right synergies, and the willpower to lead the airline's recovery efforts. The expectation was that Kenya Airways would engage the pilots to try to avert the industrial action. However, that is not the case. The national carrier has thrown spanners into the works by indicating that it plans to halt operations immediately if pilots do not retract their strike notice. While terming the strike notice unjustified and uncalled for, the airline in a statement says, if CALPA does not forthwith retract its statement, Kenya Airways will have to immediately stop selling tickets on its network given the cost associated with selling tickets and not carrying these passengers. The airline says the strike notice is already hurting operations with some passengers making booking cancellations. The airline says the threatened industrial action by pilots would hurt the negotiations and support that Kenya Airways has with suppliers and financiers. The airline further says the last industrial action by CALPA in April 2016 cost Kenya Airways 200 million shillings in revenues and cost in a single day which CALPA did not pay for. KQ says fortunes have changed for the better during the last six months with the number of passengers increasing by 89,000 to 2.23 million while the loss has narrowed from 12 billion shillings to 5 billion shillings. However, pilots dismissed this noting that Kenya Airways had sunk deeper into financial problems that were being covered through the sale of assets such as aircrafts, land and landing slot. Or in a few months they will come here and tell you that the balance sheet is looking very good, pretty, far much better than it was a few months ago. And this has just been basically because of asset stripping. When you sell land, when you sell a slot in London, when you sell aircraft, of course you're going to have cash and it will reflect in the balance sheet. But that does not actually tell you that you're actually doing any better than you are a few months ago. The government, which is the majority shareholder in the airline, has thrown its weight behind KQ, demanding that pilots to immediately withdraw their strike notice lest they face unspecified action. Transport Cabinet Secretary James Masharia terms the strike notice as an economic sabotage since it would damage the normal functioning of the country. With the threats and counter threats being flown around literally, it now remains to be seen between Kenya Airways and the pilots who will blink first.